In a few hours from now, the Wii U servers will be shutting down, and this termination will bring down Splatoon's online servers along with it. This means that every stage will become unplayable, gear and weapons that are not bought will forever be unobtainable, and of course, no more online matchmaking. It truly really is going to be a sad day for all. Now despite my many uploads lately, I've not actually sat down and really explained my thoughts on this game, and why the shutdown of online Splatoon is MASSIVE. So that's what I'll be doing today, subscribe for more Splatoon, and let's get into it. Let's tackle the second of the two questions first. Why is the death of online Splatoon servers such a big deal in the community? Well if you think about it, the answer is quite simple. 90% of the things you can do in this game are online related, and when the servers go offline, I'm pretty sure you can imagine how much content will be lost at the time. Yet you still have things like the story mode, arcade mini games, and most likely local play if you have friends who have a copy of Splatoon, but there are a few problems with those areas of the game. You can only do so much in the campaign before it becomes repetitive and stale. The mini games aren't everyone's cup of tea and will probably get boring after, at best, a few days of playing. And not everyone is going to have friends to pull up with a copy of the game at any time. It's all very limited. So in short, the reason an online game going offline forever is bad is because it's an online game. Now in terms of my opinion of the first Splatoon, it's sort of complicated, because while you have so many good things things like unique map design and some fun weapon kits, there's also a lot of bad unique things that the majority of players don't enjoy. For how this ratio is, there's not really one good site to pick for anything in particular. It's all modeled on a sort of spaghetti grey area regarding the balance of the game. But even in the bad, there is good for some of it. Take the worst stage in all of Splatoon's history for example, Salt Spray Rig. This map has the worst layer of any stage in the series and it was even banned from online play at one point by Nintendo themselves because it was that bad. But looking past its horrible design, there are a few charming factors to gaze at. While the upper part of the stage may look like an area to farm special, it's also got some of the most fun and unique terrain in all Splatoon. And to go right alongside that, there's also the best stage gimmick in all Splatoon as well, which is the crane. We have never seen a stage gimmick like this in Splatoon's history since Splatoon 1. And it's weird because I think it would be amazing to bring it back on stages like Umami Ruins or Crab Lake Capital. We will never be able to use this gimmick again when the servers go offline, which is really depressing for anyone to play this game. Now some of you may be wondering why I've not mentioned a certain tool to restore the Wii U's online function, which is called Pretendo. If you don't know what Pretendo is, it's basically an open source network replacement for both the Wii U and 3DS servers. Now why am I even mentioning this? Everyone will be modern their consoles if they want to put online games again, right? Well, no, actually. There are not many people in the community that really know how to mod their console, let alone if they even want to tamper with it in the first place. And while that isn't a bad thing in and of itself, not modding your console means that you can't play on the refurbished servers that Pretender will provide. So if you have a Wii U and a copy of Splatoon, then I really suggest you boot it up one more time and enjoy the online experience. Because after today, you won't get the chance to do it. Ever. There isn't much time left to enjoy the game as it is, and I myself have so much I want to do and experience in this game as well. But unless you are willing to learn and attempt to mod your Wii U, this is your last chance. So that's why. I'm I'm going live not long after uploading this video to play through the first Splatoon one final time with you guys. If you have a Wii U and a copy of Splatoon, then why not come along and join in for one last celebration of the game's life? We'll be going through many parts of the game and commemorating it. If you've seen this video after the shutdown, then don't worry, because I'll be posting one final video tomorrow as a tribute to Bid for Wealth Splatoon, so subscribe if you want to see that when it's posted. And with that, I'll see you guys if you plan on joining the stream, and if I don't, it's okay, I still love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.